If you thought Apple's iPhone event was the company's last big product launch of the year, well, you were wrong. At today's Unleashed event, Apple took the wraps off more new products, specifically MacBooks. But that's not all. Here's everything Apple announced at its Unleashed event. The biggest news of the day was Apple's new MacBook Pros, which are seriously impressive. The 16-inch and 14-inch Pros have been redesigned with mini LED screens with adaptive refresh rates of up to 120 Hz. Apple made the Pro displays larger by slimming down the bezels, but brought the iPhone notch over to the MacBook to pull it off. That's definitely going to be controversial, though the upgraded 1080p webcam might just make up for it. But it's not just the displays that have been redesigned. The new pros ditched the touch bar on their keyboards and add in a slew of new ports, including HDMI, a MagSafe charging port, and an SD card slot, in addition to three Thunderbolt 4 ports and a headphone jack. The battery life also promises to be seriously impressive, with the 16-inch Pro lasting up to 21 hours on a charge and the 14-inch advertising 15 hours of battery life. With new fast charging capabilities, you can charge up to 50% in just 30 minutes. Most importantly, the new MacBooks run on Apple's cutting edge custom silicon. The new chips are called M1 Pro and M1 Max, which I'll dive into next. The new MacBooks will cost you. A 14 inch Pro starts at $19.99 and a 16 inch at $24.99, but the gains just might be worth the upgrade. Both the M1 Pro and M1 Max have a 10-core CPU with eight high-performance cores and two high-efficiency cores. The Pro has a 16-core GPU with up to 32 gigs of RAM, while the Max has a 32-core GPU with up to 64 gigs of RAM. These chips are powerhouses, at least on paper, outperforming last year's impressive M1 chip by orders of magnitude. The 10-core CPU on both chips promises up to 70% faster CPU performance than you get with the M1. The M1 Pro's 16-core GPU delivers two times faster graphics performance than M1, and the M1 Max's 32-core GPU delivers up to four times faster graphics performance. Apple is promising all kinds of improvements with these chips, with the ability to edit up to 30 streams of 4K ProRes video using an M1 Max MacBook. If you work in video, the new MacBook Pro's performance could be a dream come true. If it seems like this event was all about Macs, there's good news for music lovers too. Apple just took the wraps off its new AirPods. The $179 third gen AirPods look just like AirPods Pro, but without the silicone tips that make the Pro's active noise cancellation possible. You don't get ANC, but you do get new features like adaptive EQ and spatial audio, which should make your tunes sound more immersive. There's longer battery life too, with Apple promising up to 30 hours in the case and six hours on the buds themselves. And that's everything Apple announced. Make sure to check back with us for full reviews of all the products we saw today.